Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Acer C7 Chromebook, which means that it's a laptop designed to run the Google Chrome operating system. It sells for just $199, but it's got an Intel Celeron processor, uh, which is reasonably fast. It's got a 320 gigabyte hard drive, which makes it the first Chromebook to have a hard drive, two gigs of RAM, and um, it uh, boots in about 20 seconds and um, you know does pretty much what you expect from a Chromebook, meaning a device that's designed to run Google Chrome, and sells for just $199, which makes it one of the cheapest laptops you can buy. And it is a full laptop, because in addition to running Google, Google Chrome, you can run Ubuntu Linux, or theoretically other operating systems as well. Ubuntu is pretty easy because there's a developer who's um, come up with a script that makes it pretty simple to install. Um, and you wind up with a dual boot system here, so you can actually go back and forth between Chrome OS and Ubuntu, although it's not quite as easy as on some systems where you can just sort of choose app boot which one you're going to go into. Um, in terms of running Ubuntu, I've only been using it for a brief uh, period here, but it seems to run pretty well. Um, we've got the Google Chrome web browser up here, and you can see that the Google Octane web-based benchmark scores pretty well here. Um, supports two-finger scrolling and two-finger right-click to tap, or you can use scroll bars on the side. And two-finger scrolling could be a little bit more accurate, apparently. But uh, let's go ahead and click on an individual page so you can see that it loads web pages at least as quickly, I'd say, when you're running um, Ubuntu as it does when you're running Chrome OS. So this is a full desktop style operating system. Uh, because we've got a large hard drive, you can see I've partitioned the hard drive. It's a 320 gigabyte disk. Um, I've told it that we've got about 128 gigs for use for Google Chrome. And so um, we have access to a fairly large partition there. We've got a file browser, Office software. Let's go ahead and open LibreOffice and uh, create a spreadsheet. So whereas with Chrome OS you have to rely on web applications like Google Docs or Google Drive to create spreadsheets, you know, here you can open them, view them, edit them, and so forth. 72, or actually 78, 560, and uh, you know, let's go ahead and total those up. So, you know, we can create a spreadsheet that way, use keyboard shortcuts, and it also has uh, basic support for USB peripherals. So let's go ahead and plug in a mouse. This is actually a wireless mouse dongle. We've got the mouse there, and now you can see that we've got a cursor moving on screen here. A little bit easier to use than the touchpad, but the touchpad's not bad. Uh, we can plug in a USB flash drive. Should be recognized almost instantly. Yep. And it pulls up the file browser here, so you can see what's on that. Um, Yeah, it could be a little bit faster in terms of disk access there, I guess, but let's uh, see if we can watch a video that we've got here. Welcome to the next chapter. So, video playback's pretty good. PDF file. So overall, works uh, pretty much exactly the way you would want it to as a desktop style operating system or a laptop style operating system. And um, I haven't really tested uh, battery life or, or some other things, but for a $199 laptop, you get a pretty good system here with two gigs of RAM, uh, as much hard disk space as you want, and you can always reboot into um, Chrome OS if you like. So let's go ahead and shut down, or actually let's just restart, and this time it should boot Chrome OS, I believe. Now in order to do this you have to enter developer mode, and so you wind up with this splash screen which takes a little while to get past. Uh, you can see it says OS verification is off. And I've got another video showing how to get into developer mode, but basically you need to reboot your device, press uh, escape, refresh button and the power button at the same time, and then uh, enter a couple of commands. So there's no developer switch the way that there is on some earlier Chromebook models, um, but it's not too difficult to do. You just have to sort of deal with some scary screens that tell you that it's going to wipe your data. And it will wipe your data. It doesn't remove the entire Chrome operating system. It just puts it in developer mode. 
but if you have any uh, files stored on that 320 gigabyte hard disk, it, uh, you might lose some of those files. Now once you boot into Chrome OS, which we're doing here, and it's treating it like a first boot, I need to uh, log in with my username and password and uh, so forth. Actually, it does connect. Okay, so it remembers our wireless connection here. Um, but I don't think that I've actually given it my username and password since I wiped everything. So in order to actually get Chrome OS up and running, I would need to log in with the, that data. But you can see here that we are running Chrome operating system again. And um, as I mentioned, in order to switch back and forth, you're actually going to need to uh, to do a couple of things at boot. Um, so it's not quite as seamless as just using the Grub menu to choose which operating system you want to run. but both are now installed on this Chromebook. So anyways, there's a quick look at running Ubuntu Linux on the $199 Acer C7 Chromebook. You can find more details at lilliputing.com.